This prominent performance house has been a place of greatness since its inception in the latter part of the 19th century. The theatre is located in a fairly small town in the northern part of the country. Considering the size of the town and its remoteness, it still had some great impact on the surrounding area and numerous famous musicians and orchestras played performed here over its lifetime. One of the most influential and famous ones was Giacomo Puccini. The Art Nouveau building acted as a centerpiece of the town. It was an impressive masterpiece in its heyday, plastered in gold moldings, grafted artworks and beautiful upholstery. But sadly, its importance dwindled over the years. Bigger theatres and more populous cities took over its role, and after having changed hands between multiple owners, it was bought again by the township who made plans for renovations in the early 1970s. These plans were completely drafted, but sadly the execution of these plans never came to fruition. Fifty years have passed. The building is slowly withering with time, and pieces are falling apart. Today we will take you inside this once marvelous place and give you a glimpse behind its closed off walls. You can see it from the smile on my face. Finally, after three attempts and three to four years of trying, I got inside of the abandoned performance house here in Italy. And I'm so excited to show you what's left behind in this wonderful place. A late 18th century theater, performance house, orchestras, operas, everything would be held here. Today I'm going to take you throughout everything that remains here and show you the beautiful pieces that are left behind. The first room that I've entered into when going through the door is sort of a basement. A storage area and I'm gonna build up the excitement of course I'm not gonna immediately show you the theater I want to show you everything that's left here these are the benches where the normal yeah, working-class people would sit on I don't even know if working-class people could afford to go to a theater like this so the less rich people you would say they were stored here and the end of the basement here a very typical Italian wine barrel, a wine flask, you can maybe say better. Wow, wonderful. Even still, a bottle of vino left behind, but it's completely empty. And I think this would be the oven to heat up or the heater for the building. Yeah, you can see it from this side. Here it would be fueled. You have the chimney over there. And the building would be heated with this heater. Okay, let's go back into the entrance hall. And here all the spectators would come inside of the building. And the first thing that they would do is we'd go to the ticket booth that we have right in front of us here. Two clerks would be at work giving out the tickets, letting people pay. You could come through here. And right behind here, you would order your ticket for the play. Isn't that just wonderful, everybody? Wow. Come over here, have a look behind. Most people have never seen something like this, so it's quite special. There's also a room to this side. Okay. Here behind the desk, it leads into another part of the basement. There's not that much to see here either. Just some heating pipes, but that's it. From the construction equipment that's in here, you can see that they are trying to preserve 
maybe even renovate this abandoned theater. Some cables in here to hold up the building. And some other construction equipment. But it will take decades before this place can be reopened to the public. Or maybe even never, because it costs millions of euros. And Italy is not in the best financial position to do something like this. Again, the ticket boot in front of us. But I noticed that there are there some, some inscriptions up there. Maybe from the prices to attend the play. I don't know. Let's head up now on the stairway. This abandoned theater has been abandoned now for over 50 years. The last day that it was open was 1970. And after which nothing happened here anymore. That's just crazy to think about. Galeria, Lorient, Plateau, Palchi. I don't read Italian. I'm not native to the language in any way, shape or form. Wow, wonderful staircases. Let's take this one up and let's see what we have behind here. You can see that they are holding up the building with these iron beams. They have put in some plastic to protect the insides of the building. They are definitely trying to preserve this place. But you can see, this is 50 years of abandonment, maybe even more. And something like this is almost unrepairable. This was the main entrance for the theater. For the normal people, I have to say, because they would sit down here. Let's have a look. Wow, Art Nouveau style, late 18th century building. I love all the gold plaster that's around here. And the decay on it also has its charms. It's very beautiful how oh, the paint is chipping off. <laughs> and we have this balcony here in front of us that's completely falling down over the years. It's just crazy. This section of the theater would be completely filled with these kinds of benches that we see to the left there. All the rubble is falling on the floor and crumbling away. Oh, when you're standing down here, you have to look up. You have to look at every single detail that's in here. And here right behind me, we have the special VIP boots. Where the wealthy people would sit in their private cocoon. Probably also served by servants. Bring the, they brought them drinks and everything. Okay, let's first go over this. <laughs> very unstable part and show you where the performance would be. Okay, it's a little step here that I can take. Okay. Wow. Everything is made from wood. I quite love it. Little door here that we can go through. Oh, and then we come into this part. Underneath my feet, there is a big pile of rubble. If we look closer, it's all a roof tile. And that's due to the whole ceiling, whole roof just collapsing over the years. But now they put in this metal roof to protect the theater from its downfall. And luckily they did so, because it's still in a relative okay... No, I shouldn't say it. it's decaying, but... I think it wouldn't be here anymore if the roof hadn't been fixed. <sighs> I want to show you the stage from up close as well. But it's a very difficult endeavor to go there. Oh. 
probably everybody is sweating right now behind their computer seeing me walking over these broken beams and right in front of me here we have this pit and you call this the orchestra pit because the orchestra of the play would be in here and the lead would be standing up there uh, of course there were no speakers no electronic speakers sounds couldn't be produced so they had to be made all in house and right in front of us here the play would happen oh, wow let's go a bit further let me also show you the back all the actors and performers would be back here i think there would have also been a wall separating this area from the stage itself these look like dressing boots there's not much to see in here to hear the actors would dress up, or dress up to start their play. Yes, I think I can get a representation of how it looked. We have this light fixture, a fixed fixture up here, and there would be a mirror against the wall. And the actor will be sitting here in front of this desk, preparing for the play. You even have a few coat hangers and an inscription on the wall. Vitato, fumare. Oh, this means no smoking wow from back then so there was no smoking allowed in this changing room fumare that's a similar word to french fumé and fumare is italian wow i love the view of the stage from over here back over the rubble have a little washing table over here and some more dressing rooms. Incredible, everybody. The only thing that I'm wondering about is this boot over here or this doorway that leads into this hole right underneath the stage. I think it is some sort of a whispering boot where somebody could sit inside and if one of the actors didn't remember his lines, he could just shout it to him or just whisper it to him not shout because then the spectators could know that he was cheating okay lovely let's go back back through the rubble oh so much things we even have this cart wheel wooden cart wheel down here and you can also see the electricity panel for the play would be here Okay, there's even a stairway to this side. I actually want to take it, but <laughs> wow, it's very unstable. Oh, let me try to climb up here. Sometimes I ask myself the question, why do I do all these stupid things? But yeah, it's just I want to document these abandoned places and I want to bring them to the internet forever. And that's why I try for four years to get inside of an abandoned place and I sort of risk my life to go over these barely even walkable anymore wooden beams and stuff like that there are some children's toys in here as well okay where do we end up if we go outside okay. back up on the stairway We have a French-Italian style toilet here. You can see the flushing reservoir would be up there. So this would be the toilet for the spectators. I think this part over here leads to the private boots right behind it. Let's jump over. Let's see what's there. Okay, yes, so they are all numbered above there. We have a three, we have a two, and over here is number one. <laughs> but number one is in a very bad shape, but you would be right. Oh yes, these are the even more VIP 
for the richest people that would attend the play. They have their own coat hangers. Their boot would be painted red. And they could, I can see if I can stand on here. They would be right at the stage, looking at the performers. This is the best place in house. It would cost the most. Wonderful to see. But you can look right at the ceiling from here. Everything has totally collapsed. Oh my God, I shouldn't stay in here for too long. And then from here you go into the slightly less expensive and slightly smaller watching areas. This one, this one is actually still very, very nice because you can get an up close view from here as well. And you would be in your private boot, of course. Look at the upholstery over here. Beautiful red upholstery. And the crown molding. This is not made from plaster, I think. This is made from wood. Wonderful designs everywhere. They're all the same. Yes, they are. Okay. When I'm in a place like this, I can only imagine myself how it must have been like to live in that time period, late 18th century, and just be in this performance house. Come here together with your friends and there was no technology. Everything must be used by hand and it must have just been such a wonderful experience. Yeah, these people, they of course can't imagine how we live now, but if we live back in their time, it would be, be just mind blowing for us. And I would, I would love to experience it. We have, we are now on the other side with the private boots. You can see there's even a little rug still hanging here. And they are just exactly the same. There are actually quite a lot of these private boots all around it. Wow. The paint is shipping off everywhere. And here we can get an up close view of the balcony that would be up here, but that has now been completely collapsed. Oh my God. Let's now take the stairway to a higher floor inside of this place. Oh, I forgot something. Wow, there's also some sort of a basement hallway here. It has an inscription up there. Ingresso a la pol poltron? I'm not sure. Wow, all the benches have been taken out and they have been placed right here in this basement. Look at how many there are. <laughs> Incredible. Let's turn back. Let's head up the stairway to a higher floor. I can see an inscription up there that says Galleria. And that means gallery. So uh, yeah, that's the main seating area, I think. Whew. They did some more construction work up here to support the building from collapsing down. Oh, and there's also some graffiti, some vandalism up here. That's very sad to see. Who in the world does this to such a wonderful place? Whisper your graffiti somewhere else, please. Okay. Oh my God. This view from the theater is just spectacle. Look at this, everybody. Isn't that just wonderful? Wow. I would actually prefer to sit on a seat like this one and have this incredible view of everybody sitting there and then the performance in the front instead of the VIP boots. 
I think this is the best seat in the house. Oh, lovely. You can take these little steps down. They lead you to the balcony in front. People could also stand here and watch the play. But that now has completely collapsed. Let's take a look at the seating. Wow. Every single seat is numbered 31, 30. They're all collapsible like that. They are all stuck now. <laughs> Even this part is now falling apart and waiting for nature to take over. You can see over here that they completely drilled a hole in the wall to place the stud through and then they attached it to the, to the stone that's down here. Wow, crazy. But now the building stays up and I really like that. Okay, I think there's one last floor to show you all. So let's go up there right now and let's see. Oh, but this is not the last floor. These are, these are just some more private boots that we have over here. Of course, I'm gonna show you, show them to you. Oh, we already have number 35 over here. So there are many of these private boots, maybe even 40 private boots. Wow. This one is a lot smaller than the other ones. Probably also a lot cheaper. Wow. And over here, the most expensive boots have all collapsed over the years. This is a stairway to the last part of the building that we haven't seen yet. The upper floors above the theater where you can look down. There's one more stairway over here as well. I have to quickly check out. Okay. Seems to be not much here. Okay, yeah, well, we can go up here. Oh, there's even another toilet here. Interesting. Oh, and this one has the reservoir still on it. You can see the manufacturer, Turco Giovanni Mondovi, an Italian manufacturer of these lovely toilets. I actually like to use them. I don't want to talk about toilets on this episode, but I actually like how you can use them. Okay, and here we come to the upper floor. Wow. <laughs> My friend Jeroen is literally sitting on the edge of the theater. Please be careful, my friend. Oh, wow. Look at this. Isn't that just a spectacle? And I would be a roof over all of this, but that has completely fallen down. Luckily, they put in this metal roof to save the building from collapsing. I want to have a closer look at this plaster molding, this gold plated plaster molding that we have over here. The arch above the theater. You can see some musical manuscripts and some trumpets and in the middle of it they have this harp harp shape wow let me give you an overview of this majestic place you ruin i'm getting chills from you seeing you sitting over there he doesn't hear me because he has his earphones in this guy is just crazy everybody he's just crazy on the upper floor over here, we also have this enormous window and this overlooks the valley that's right behind this theater or here the window is broken. So you can get a glimpse of this wonderful Italian town that we are in right now. It's just majestic. <sighs> okay, I think it's time to go down and find the way out of this place because that's gonna be as hard as getting in.
Let's try that out. <laughs> I see Rune already laughing. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I haven't shown you how I got into this place, but I show you how we need to get out. So stay tuned for that as well, because it's quite an adventure. Okay, everybody, it's time to go outside right now. And this is gonna be quite a challenge. So I want to include all these things into my videos so you can see the whole process of exploring an abandoned place like this. You still know the way out, Jeroen? It's here to the right. Then we have to go up. Master climber. Gonna make the same move as Jeroen. It's a wooden stairway here. Oh. Okay, this is just part one of the climb. And not even the easy part, yes, like you said. Wow. From up here, the theater is also very beautiful. Then we have to make our way through this narrow doorway. Okay, well, hold your back. <laughs> yes. You got it? Yeah. Okay, and then mine. There you go. Okay. And then myself, of course. Okay, we're out. Not yet. <laughs> we're like 25% out right now. Okay, then we have to make our way down here. And that's also quite a challenge. Should I go first? It was a lot easier. Yes, it was a lot easier, exactly. Oh my god, this looks scary. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this, this tree trunk is pretty sturdy, so that helps a lot. Oh my god, I'm standing here on this little wooden beam down here and that supports my whole weight. Yes, I'm going. Okay. Okay, I managed. Come on. Yes, there you go, guys. <laughs> and now it's your try. Watch out with the brick. Yeah. Okay. Should I place your foot somewhere? Okay. You're doing good, man. Perfect. It's easy peasy. Easy peasy.
This is one of the doors that lead to the street, but it's completely blocked. And I think it's not possible to go through. Now we have this over here, this hole in the wall, where you have to go through. You climbing through the hole looks really cool. Yeah? Yeah, definitely does. Okay, final stretch. Give this to you. We don't have to go over there. Oh, oh that's lucky. That's really lucky. <laughs> Bro, this was epic. Thank you, man. Oh, what an adventure. Oh, I only have one glove. I gotta search it. Oh, it's over there. Let's get it. Yes. Yeah, this was the original climb and the people of the property put glass on top of there to prevent people from climbing it. <sighs> wow, everybody, what an adventure. <laughs> We're going to the car, have some breakfast now. <sighs> wow, look at the view in front of me here. We can see the castle on top of the mountain and this is our parking spot for tonight. The van is over there and we just had a fantastic exploring day. I was so thrilled that we could do the theater this time after three attempts and four years of trying. So yeah, I wanna thank you all for watching this week's video. If you liked it, please give a big thumbs up to the video, write what you thought about it down there in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. There's also a link in the description for Patreon. There you can support us because this is our hobby and it costs a lot, of, a lot of money, of course, to go to these abandoned places. So it would be very appreciated if you make a small donation for the effort we put into the, making these videos. I want to thank you all very, very much and I will see you next week in another crazy adventure. Bye bye. I love you very much.